Coach, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Welcome to 2012. Here we go. Um, it, it, at least you're starting off with some patsies at the Michigan <laughs> kickoff. Like in Indiana, ranked I think 10th. Like a UCLA ranked third. And you have a young team. Why start the season like this? Well, you know, it's one of those things. The teams we want to play at the end of the year are going to be the teams in the top eight. So we might as well start playing the teams that could be in the top eight right away to start the year. So we set the tempo right away. This is who we want to be playing, UCLA in the NCAAs at the end of the year. Indiana's our rival. They have a very solid team this year. We need to be ready to play them at the end of the year for the division championship and so forth. So, you know, it's kind of to, to young team, kind of tell them right away, there's not going to be any easy games and we're going to hit it hard and we're going to learn from it. And that's what these teams will teach us is what we need to do to get better. I'm sure I'm only exaggerating a little when I say you opening with Indiana is like Michigan football opening against Ohio State. And that's exactly it, you know, and uh, Barry and I kind of chuckled. He brought it up. He goes, why don't we go old school and play each other? I thought, you know what, it's been 10 years since we've opened up with Indiana. And 10 years ago, we did it because of a regional thing. Now, the last five years, we haven't played them in our tournament. But I thought, that's a great idea. Let's have our biggest game of the season be first knowing that we're going to be playing them again on the Big Ten Network March 31st in our Think Pink game, and we need to be ready for that. But it's going to, like I said, it's going to teach these young kids right now, we are a different team, we are your team, and you need to be ready to play. And there's been much success against Indiana in recent years, but Michigan's last game last season, they knocked you out of going to the NCAA championships. They did, they did, and you know, it's not a, it's, we lost to a team that was good enough to beat us, but losing is what bothers me. Losing to Indiana bothers me more, and, and they'd say the same thing. So, yeah, a bitter taste for mainly for the seniors that graduate that won't have that opportunity again, but also for this team to, to realize that in the forefront of our imagination, in our conscious, subconscious, as always has to be our rival, and that rival's Indiana. No, you just said Happy New Year. This is a new club. Is it is it fair to say it's young? Oh, young team. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. They they saw players do things that, that that now they want to have the opportunity to do. But you know the reality is we have one senior Phil player that will is returning with a lot of experience. Megan Cobb, our captain. Everybody else has to move up. We lost six very talented players. So that provides minimum six more young ladies opportunity to be playing more than half the game, which they didn't do last year. It might also provide you with some sleepless nights. Well, you know, I think I'm going to make sure I have some cough drops and kind of hot tea to make sure my voice is ready so I can teach them a little bit better. But you know what, that's one of the great things about college. Every year is different. Oh, I mean, I, I'm actually more excited this year because we're doing a lot more teaching. And, and any coach will tell you when you have a senior laden group and they, they've mastered a lot of the fundamentals and they want to, you know, they don't want to redo everything that we know they need to redo. This team is kind of like a sponge and we're going over something different every day. And it's nice to get back to the teaching block and it's nice to see how they're developing. And it's going to be nice to see where this team goes. We're going to be better than people expect because Bottom line, we're Michigan, we have tradition, and we have expectations. That sounds to me like you don't believe in a, quote, rebuilding year. No, no. I mean, a rebuilding year, to me, is for other teams. We don't rebuild. You know, if we have that attitude, then we're not going to get where we want to go. Coach, talk to folks who might want to come out this weekend. A reason or two why? Well, I mean, we have the best rivalry east of California in Michigan, Indiana. And one of the top three rivalries in all of college water polo. You saw what Michigan, Michigan State did last night. Beeline has those boys playing out of their minds. The crowd was pumped, and that's what you get when you have Michigan, Indiana. And then you have UCLA. 
seven out of the last nine national championships. If you want to see how water polo is supposed to be played, come see UCLA. And then Colorado State. I mean, they are number 21 right now in the rankings. They're a solid team. So if you want to see what real water polo is outside of California, then you always want to come to the Michigan kickoff. Coach, happy new year. Happy new year to you too.